Minicad programs have the ability to create user coordinate systems. Fusion has one and you cannot alter it. Sometimes when you have an angle side you might like to have a new UCS again user coordinate system. In this video I'd like to cover how to do one in Fusion 360 or two. Let's create a new UCS. This is done by creating a new component. I'm going to name it UCS for user coordinate system and I'm going to create two in this model so I'll call it number one. You don't have to activate if you do not want to. It's not required. So there's my UCS component. Next I want to go up under move. Be sure you're under components and select the component you just made. You might want to turn on the origin of the component so you can see the axis and the origin planes. I'm going to be moving this to a no location from a point to point respective. So I pick on the first point which is the where I placed it and I'm going to put it on this point right there. I'm then going to proceed to rotate it. I'm going to pick around the z-axis and I'm going to measure. I'm going to pick on this face. I want to line it up to that one and the face in the background. Now it picked up 65 which is correct but it's going the wrong way so I simply have to put a minus in front of it. Now it's lined up to this face. One key thing you want to do is to capture position. This will allow you to edit this later on if you need be. Say OK and you're ready to go. So let's try out our new user coordinate system. I want to make a new component and I want to align everything to this phases so I'll use this new UCS. Go to create component. I'm going to activate it this time. I'll just call it component 1. and say OK. It's now active and I'm going to make a sketch. If I pick on this I'll see both origins. I really don't care. I want to use this one, the XY. Notice I'm lined up to the side according to this UCS. So if I go up here and draw a two-point rectangle it comes in nice and square. You don't have to worry about using a three-point rectangle. It comes in just normal. I'll go ahead and label this one at 12 long and five wide. I'm going to line it up to this origin and I'm going to mention off of this side. It's already parallel. I don't need to put that parallel constraint. I'll say it's five. I'll now finish that and take a look at it from the top. You can see it's lined up to that side. I'll go ahead and extrude it and I'm going to go up six inches. So I made my first component using my new, new UCS. One of the great things about using a UCS component like this is that every component that is based on it is hooked to it. So if you come down into your go back to your top level and look at your capture position for that UCS remember you said it when you made it if you right click on that and edit it you can actually move it to any place you want and the components that are related to it will go with it. So let's do that. Just try it out. We're going to do a translate. We're going to select the UCS and I'll use the arrow to go along there. I'm going to move it up just two inches from that corner. Well, let's make it four to make it more obvious. So now I'll say OK and I'll then finish my position and the block moves with it. It's still lined up to the origin but it's moved up the side four inches. It has gone with the UCS. So let's go back to the home position and make another move. Let's put the user coordinate system back on this point just to show you another change. So I'll go to the capture position for that UCS, right click and edit it, I want to move. This time I'm going to predict this UCS from point to point. 
The first point is right here and the second point is right there. I'll say OK. I don't know this angle that I need to line up well, so I'll measure it very quickly. It is 45 degrees. I'll put it on my clipboard. Next, I'll go back to move. This time, I'm going to select the UCS component and I'm going to rotate around the Z axis. And it's 45 degrees. Control V. Say OK. When I hit finish position, the block, the component comes with it, but I do get a warning. That's because I have a dimension up from that edge and it's not valid anymore. So I need to delete it and add one back in from the side to the origin at 5 and finish my sketch. But notice that the component goes along with the UCS at all times. As I mentioned before, you can have as many UCS components as you want or different coordinate systems. So go up on the create. Let's make another one. This is called UCS2. I'm not going to capture position. Say OK. Now I'm going to open it and make sure the origin is, is highlighted. Now it's getting a little confusing, so what I'm going to do is turn off UCS1 and the component I have. And I'm going to make sure that I am concentrated on the new UCS. I would like to put that up on this corner. So I'm going to go to Move, make sure I'm on Components, pick on the new UCS, and I'm going to go point to point again from this point to this point. So as you can see, you can make any number of UCS components you desire and you can use them and alter them as you, do, as you need to. Hope this helped you do better work in Fusion 360.